Hickok 45 here. I'm a little worried about your firearms collection. Is it diverse enough? Is everything you own and shoot a polymer pistol like this? Polymer rifle. Now they're fun, no doubt about it. I love them. Yeah, they're pretty nice. And <laughs> so these are a lot of fun. I, I, they're, they're great, great defensive pistols. Uh, wonderful, 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 and they've taken the world by storm, whether it's a CX storm, <laughs> whether it's a, a M&P, it's a Glock, it's an FN like this. This is a great FN 509 compact. Uh, wow, we could name them all day long, the, uh, the SIGs. Uh, great guns, but I'm a little concerned about some of you and your lack of branching out especially if you can afford it. Now, some people can't really afford as much, you know, uh, diversity in their firearms collection as, as some others can. But let me show you what I'm talking about. Just want to encourage you. You know I'm talking about this all the time, aren't I? Well, we've got a few guns on the table. You might have noticed. <laughs> and uh, we, uh, just a sampling of some of the different firearms that, that, I don't know, maybe you would enjoy and don't realize it, right? Everything from a 1911, an AK, a musket, uh, bolt action guns, you can see it there, an AR-15, single action, double action revolver, Swedish Mauser, Marlin, yeah, I mean, got them all, pump action shotgun. Some of you already have several of these sorts of firearms, but then I know that some of you might not. You might be focusing too much on just lever actions. Yeah, there's a few of you too. You might just be focusing too much on, like I say, polymer pistols. Uh, maybe everything you do is with a single action. You have no interest in other firearms, and that's fine. But you might be missing out. Let me let me give you a sampling, okay? Well, I happen to have loaded this just before y'all got here, right? Let's see if it will fire. This is a 69 caliber, 1842 uh, Harper's Ferry. <laughs> preferred bowling musket of the 19th century okay <laughs> i think it's empty now that's a blast i've been shooting that lately and uh I, I just think it's a whole lot of fun and then on the other hand the other end of the continuum you've got this beauty i mean look at the beauty of this thing yeah All right either full or Run away, man. Yeah, semi. <laughs> Pretty nice either way. Yeah. We're clear. So these kind of are on two ends of the spectrum, I realize, and not everybody can get their hands on one of these. Not everybody can get their hands on an old musket or even a reproduction of a musket. But again, just a reminder that all of these are uh, just so much fun and even historical. You know, the old pump shotgun. Wow, many of you have these. It's just hard to beat. A good old pump. See, I don't, oh yeah, the wrong, there we go. And uh, this one happens to be in Ithaca. I haven't had it out lately, as you can tell. Lots of fun, very versatile. I uh, don't have to have a, a semi-auto. And of course, an AR-15, I won't necessarily get it dirty, don't need to, but you know, these things, maybe it's all you're interested in, or maybe you don't think you have a purpose for one. Uh, very enjoyable, very enjoyable to shoot. Light recoiling, if you've never had one. Adjustable stock for you know small people, large people, big dumb people like me, pull all the way back and it feels good. Different sights you can put on them. Uh, the 5.56 round doesn't kick a lot, and uh, so, Extremely useful, versatile. Good old bolt guns. There's an old Swedish Mauser. You can find these in, man, uh, you know, military surplus from almost every country around. And they still, many of them are just really good shape. Good enough shape to fire, you know. Might be beat up a little bit, but just a lot of fun, a lot of fun. So I would encourage you to explore that. Of course, I don't have to tell you about a lever gun. There's nothing, nothing better than that. 
Got a flint lock over there, but you know, that's not everybody's cup of tea. Might be, might be worth trying. You might fall in love with them. I know people, I, I meet them all the time. That's all they shoot, flint locks. Of course, I grew up their friendship and you can find a lot of folks like that. Good old double action revolver. Maybe you don't even own a revolver. You are really challenged. You don't even own a revolver. That's hard to imagine. But uh, nothing like a good old double action because you can cock it and shoot it, take a precise you know, uh, sight, or you can shoot double action, especially if it's a defensive pistol. But those are wonderful. They ruled the world for a long time, just as the old single action did back in the 1800s. You know, uh, good old Colt single action. It's the old Davy Colt. Just, just so sweet. These are, I'm always going to shoot these, but, you know, just wonderful piece of history. Uh, goes back to 1873 and still being made today. And if you have never even fired a single action revolver, again, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I know I'm being mean, picking on you. Uh, you. You can't afford maybe every gun under the sun, of course, or every type of firearm. But for you folks who can, yeah, yeah, you're the ones I'm really uh, being, uh, I'm targeting, I'm being mean to, because uh, you really want to diversify your collection. I think you'll enjoy the hobby so much more, get a lot more out of it. You'll learn some history along the way. Uh, you know, the old 1911, a lot of people think they're old fud guns, they're obsolete. I wouldn't say that. They're, uh, they're one of the most enjoyable firearms to shoot, you know, and then the history is so rich. And that's the thing about most of these, you know, the history, I've learned so much history just in studying uh, the firearms. We're going to get right down to it. The old Colts, the history of Smith & Wesson, uh, the military firearms of the 18th century and the 19th century, the 20th century. You learn so much. And uh, you also, if you're into firearms, probably a lot of you are, okay? If you're into firearms, uh, it, it really enhances uh, the appreciation, I think, of, of these if you've ever handled them or have fired them. You're watching a movie, you know, you're watching Save it Pri uh, Saving Private Ryan, for example, uh, a really popular movie. You have never fired one of these. Maybe you've never even held a 1911. You know, you you can't really relate to, to the action in that movie or the feel as, you know, it's, it's Hollywood, you know, they're not really shooting 45 slugs i'm sure <laughs> but you you don't really relate to what it was like you know if you've never even fired one of these you know at least a couple of times same with the old westerns i know a lot of you watch westerns if you've never even fired a single action colt or a 45 uh, long colt you know 45 colt you know you just, and, and then also in black powder you know you don't quite uh get the the feel and you can't fully relate to what it was like back then you know again in the movies are firing blanks or it's cgi but i mean what it was really like in 1880 to carry one of these and to fire it you know or a lever gun or anything so anyway i know i'm preaching this uh, often in videos as we wind down a video i thought we'd just do one on it nothing but that and remind you if you're new into firearms uh, just something to think about before you spend you know, you blow the budget for three years straight on the same type of firearm. Maybe you want to just branch out a little bit and uh, do some research and think about some others. Okay. So here I am encouraging you to spend your money, right? <laughs> so I appreciate you coming by and uh, letting me preach at you a little bit. And, uh, you know, just got some firearms out I hadn't seen in a while. And that was kind of nice. And uh, fired a couple of them. So now i got to clean them. But anyway, you got the message, you know, uh, try to appreciate the, just the, the various types of firearms that are out there and, and don't call people names because they like some of these firearms, okay? And maybe I'm guilty of that. You're not a FUD because you like these revolvers or this 1911. You're not necessarily a mall ninja because everything you have looks like that, okay? So we throw around those terms uh, too much, I guess. And uh, anyway, that's my take on it. I'm glad you came around to, to get a little lesson, right? Life is good. Oh, yeah, that's better. This is a great gun for defense. Oh, hey, didn't see you guys there. Uh, while I've got you here, I want to remind you of our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall. 
Italian grips makes uh, grips, can you believe it? Uh, for all different types of firearms, you can get rough texture or more of a rubberized texture. Uh, it just sticks right on there. You know, really affordable, really cool option to in, improve the grip for your handguns um, or, or rifles. Uh, so please check them out at TalonGunGrips.com. You'll be glad you did. And also Ballastol. Uh, Dad has been using Ballastol for many years. It's a cleaner and a lubricant, and it's non-toxic. Uh, it works really great, and we're happy to have them on board since it's been a part of our shooting endeavor for a very long time. So go to Ballastol.com, TalonGunGrips.com. And also, while you're out there, I'm juggling all these things here. Also, uh, while you're on the internet, please do check out our other social media like Hickok45 on Facebook. There's also Hickok45 on Twitter, the real Hickok45 on Instagram. There's a John underscore Hickok45 on Instagram where I do some things. There's Hickok45.com. Uh, you can find us also on GunStreamer. So check out all that stuff and then watch more videos.